Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your own basketball. Let's jump right in. Press Shift A, Mash and add a cube. Press Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier and in your modifiers tab you can see the, the modifier right here and I will click and we'll add apply. We'll go into front view by pressing numpad 1 tab to go into edit mode. Press set to open your shading menu and then toggle the x-ray. Now we want to go ahead and select the left half of the vertices, press X and V and delete them. Select the bottom half, X and V to delete them. Press numpad 7 to go into top view and delete half of those vertices as well. We can go back into front view and then with K we can activate our knife tool and I will click somewhere in the middle, maybe a bit lower and we'll connect to the vertices there and then press enter. Now we'll add a mirror modifier and I will want the X, Y and Z axis activated. And don't forget clipping. And then we can go and leave edit mode and then press apply on the mirror modifier. Press tab to go back into edit mode, press set and toggle X-ray. Press two to go into edge select. And then while we holding shift and alt, select all these edges right here the middle edge and then these edges right here make sure you have them in selected in the back as well there we go once they're all selected we can press ctrl b and we can bevel it somewhere around that and then with our scroll wheel we want to increase the bevels two three four five and then click to confirm there that is perfect then we'll go to select select more or less select less so we have one uh, row less now with alt s we can scale this down just like that okay that is perfect now while we're still in edit mode deselect all and we're gonna go and make some seams which will help us with those materials later so with alt and shift i want you to select all these side edges right here and they're very easy to select here in these squares right there and make sure you have them all selected like that and then we can right click and mark seam and this will help us with our uh, small uv unwrap later now we can press tab to leave edit mode and we'll press ctrl 3 to add a subdivision modifier and then we'll right click shade auto smooth <clears throat> now press tab to go into edit mode press a to select all press 3 to go into face select and we'll go uv unwrap unwrap faces there we go okay then we'll go ahead and do some shading so we'll go into our shading tab and we'll start adding our materials with the ball selected press new we can just simply call this orange so we want to now add a nice uh, texture to it which will be the Voronoi texture so press shift a type Voronoi and add the Voronoi texture with the texture selected press ctrl t to add a mapping and a texture coordinate and then we want to connect the uv instead of the generated now press shift a type ramp and add a color ramp and we'll add the distance to the color ramp and then the color right there now you can see that our texture is active we want to go ahead and randomize it to zero so it's not random and then scale maybe to 150 I think that looks uh, that looks nice. Now we're gonna move these colors a bit close to each other. I think 0.35 for the black, and then for the white we'll move the position to 0.45. There we go, and that's looking nicely. And we want to add a tiny bit of depth here, so we'll do that very simply with a bump node. So if you press Shift A, add a bump. And we can just add the color ramp to the height of the bump and then the bump goes into the normal there we go and that looks pretty sweet we can go ahead and invert it there that's perfect it uh, gives us the, a tiny bit of depth um we want to of course change the colors so we'll select the dark color and i'm going to change it to a hex code of D55E00 and then we'll change the light color to be 9E3F00 
there we go and you can also kind of like see how it looks if you turn it around you can basically just make this the colors you want to i do think it will look pretty nice if we add some like color variants here so i'm gonna go here and then i will select these faces here select those and then right there and i'm gonna do the same for these i'll just select them by holding shift right there and then do it for these as well there then we have all of those selected and we can go to select more or less select more perfect and then we'll go into a material tab and we'll add a material slot right there at a new material and sign it and now we can change this material to orange and then we just want to click here to make a duplicate out of it and we'll call that white and then i'm just going to go and change the colors of it so if i click here i just want this white so just six f's and then we'll change this to a gray color Air uh, that's maybe even a bit too gray a bit lighter there i think that looks pretty nice okay and then we're just gonna have to change the centers here so I'll go into edit mode, make sure you're in face select. And you can select those middle faces right here. Like that. And then we'll go into select more or less. Select more. And then once again, we'll add a new material slot. Add a new material and assign it. And I'm just going to call this dark. For this, I'm going to add a small um, noise texture and a slight bump so if we press shift a and we'll search and we'll add a noise texture press sh shift a we'll add a color ramp right there connect those to each other and right there and now i'm gonna move this all the way to 0.9 there we go and then this is just going to be white which is fine and then i'm gonna up the scale of this to hundred and then the rest can stay as is and then i'm gonna go ahead and change the roughness to 0.7 and i'm gonna add a bump node and we can just add the noise texture to the height of the bump and the bump to normal there we go and then now we can see our texture um the bump is a bit strong maybe change it to 0.1 there that looks nice yeah that looks solid okay that's it for our materials now i'm gonna go back into layout and i'll press z and go into material preview now i will go and press numpad one to go into front view press shift a and add a camera press g and y move it backwards numpad zero to go into camera view and then with g and z twice you can move it back a bit more somewhere there now I'll select the ball and then with pressing R twice you can rotate it. I'm just gonna go and rotate it a bit down there. I think that is a nice angle. Maybe even a bit more. Somewhere there. Now press Shift A, mash and add a plane. Press RX90 to rotate it. G and Y and we'll move it backwards. And then tap to go into edit mode and then S to scale it up. And then S and X so it covers our whole camera view we'll uh, need a nice color for that background as well so we'll go to our material tab add a new material we can call that background and then our background will be a color of cfa 884 there we go that looks great i'm gonna go ahead and change the world color so we'll go into our world tab add a world color which is b27052 and now if we go press set and we'll go into rendered view we can see our effect right here so now it's time for some lighting we'll go ahead and press shift a light and add an area light press g and set 
move it all the way up go into our light settings we'll change the shape the disc size to three and then the power to 200 there we have a nice light there now i'll press period to change our pivot point to 3d cursor press shift a and add another area light press g and z move that up change the shape the disc size to two and now with that light selected we can press rx 60 and rz 45 minus and then i want to change the power to 100 maybe a bit less 60 yeah i think that looks cool now maybe we uh, add a little blue light here so we'll press shifty r set 120 to make a duplicate of our light and rotate it to the other side and now if we press r x x we can just move our light so it shines from the bottom we can kind of align it with the other light so it's directly opposite of it and then now if we change this color to a very bright blue and we'll change the power to 120 there we have a nice nice light but i'm gonna make it even a stronger blue somewhere there i'm gonna have it as 00a9ff and then i want to maybe change the shape to one there i think that looks pretty nice just a soft light maybe turn it down just a bit and move backwards a tiny bit and then i'm gonna make this lamp a bit more orangey Bit more yellow orangey ff d 9b4 yeah that looks great and then i'm gonna press shift a and add another area light press rx 90 and then g y and move that towards the background go press change the shape the disc size to two and the power to 250 there we go and then change that to a nice orangey reddish color as well it's maybe a bit too strong change it to 175 make it a bit weaker or 200 200 seems fine there yeah that looks great and then i'm just gonna go and play around a bit with the lighting and you can just adjust this yourself but i feel like we're almost done here there that looks great okay now if we just go into our render settings we can change our engine to cycles device to gpu compute and then now we'll go to color management and we'll change our look to a medium high contrast here we go i think that looks amazing so now all we have to go and do is render thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoyed creating your own basketball are you looking to level up your Blender skills? Check out my other tutorials for more tips and tricks. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and drop your questions or ideas in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And when you share your masterpiece on Instagram, don't forget to tag me so I can see your amazing work. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon.